the arrival of Inkanieni, mother to Vutomi, consort of quarantine, and just generally all round nice girl. Isn't that beautiful? Of her looking through the grass here. And like I said, what a smorgasbord we've had. Cheetahs. Three leopards now, just the three. The most perfect golden light. Oh, wonderful stuff. All right, let's get the other side of her again so we can catch the last bits of the light. Sorry, Seb, I couldn't get out of the way fast enough there. Marvellous, marvellous, marvellous stuff. Very kindly created a clearing for us to get through. Might be a new leopard for some of you. And she's not often seen, you know, she spends a lot of her time in the Kruger. Which is not far from where we are here on Cheetah Plains. There she comes. You got her there, Seb? Ah, oh, gorgeous. Yeah, the very first sort of leopard picture I took, I don't know, leaving her, we got her to ourselves. The very first sort of relatively decent leopard picture I took was of this leopardess. And she was standing exactly like she's standing there. That's so cool. Isn't that nice? The last light of the sun just fading on her. And here she comes. Very little is causing or having any consternation at her. There's not much alarm calling going on. How oh, magnificent, she's coming straight towards us. Oh, wow. Now, Marissa, you're just 10 years old and wondering how many leopards we see here. Well, here we see this very special leopard called Inkanyeni. Hello, my dear. You look like you're in need of a bit of a meal. We see, you can count them, Marissa, I'll just name them for you. We see Nkanyeni, we see Tandi, we see Tandi Santamba, we see Shongile and Hosana, who are not related to this chap except distantly. We see Tingana, the big male, we see Shadow and her little cub. We sometimes see a chap called Gijima. We sometimes see Quarantine, who has been her, well, they've been mating. We sometimes see a chap called Shivambalana. So how many is that so far? You can count them and tell me, Maritza. Wasn't that special watching her come along the road like that? And walk not two feet from the edge of the door? Now you see, she will disappear into this grass in seconds. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. Jeffrey, you know, I was thinking exactly the same thing and I thought to myself, but she doesn't because, you know, I don't, I, I don't remember the last time, oh, what's she got? 
She might be stalking something. Because I remember the last time I saw her thinking she was quite stocky, but I totally agree with you. She has a dainty face. You're absolutely right. All right, we're going to try and stay with her. Obviously, you've got to be very, very careful now because the chances of giving her a fright when you can't see what she's doing are high. She's right in here. So I'm just going to be very, very careful. We might lose her, but we've had a wonderful sighting and three leopards in one day are not to be sneezed at. She's <laughs> yes, you can see again, I know it's a bit of a cliche, but you can see why these things are so hard to find. You got her? Re reverse. Oh, okay, got it. Well spotted. Look at her tattered ears, and I keep forgetting how old she is, but I think she's 13 as well. I don't think she's a youngster. Now, there was a steenbok that we unfortunately flushed not far from here before she came along the road. Just hear the Cape Turtle Dove in the background going adding to the perfection of what is a quintessentially magnificent African scene. Have you still got her there, Seb? Mm, not really. Not really. There she is. I've got her there. We'll just ease our way through here. These trees, Ormocarpum tripocarpum, are flicking up behind us, don't worry. You can see they're very powerful. <laughs> Must be quite difficult, although you're beautifully hidden in grass like this, it's not easy for you to actually see any prey, I imagine. Oh, look. Shelley, you say, has Vutomi left her already? Vutomi is her youngster. I think he's... Mm, he, I don't see them often enough to remember their ages. I think he's about a year old. And you say, has he left already? No, he hasn't. He's quite often seen with her. And I think they were on a kill together. In fact, they had Vutomi this afternoon, as well as in Kanyeni. So... No, he hasn't left her, but he's going into that sort of semi-independent stage. No, she's looking very skinny. There's a wonderful Afrikaans word, and that Afrikaans word is skraal. And it just very nicely describes that sort of look. It's, um, it's not quite it's skinny, and it's also in need of a meal. And a little bit tattered are her ears. If she's otherwise, she's looking pretty good. Now again, we need to be careful that we don't make a noise behind her and flush anything that might be in front of her or give it some sort of indication that, you know, there's something worth looking at this way. So we will keep our distance and if we leave, lose her, well, that's all right. She's going through some slightly more open terrain through here. Watch the old head there, Sebastian. <laughs> Be 
beautiful. The colour is just lovely, isn't it? Gold, copper, much more copper than most of the leopards we see. And she belongs to a very famous lineage. Well, famous from where I come from, uh, from Londolosi. There was a leopard there called the Sunset Bend female, and she gave rise, and probably was given rise to by her parents, but she gave rise to this very golden lineage, and much more gold than, say, the lineage of Karula, which is very honey-coloured. Now, just look below her eye there, above her nose, you can see four spots. Now, in Kanyeni, is a 4-3 female. She's got four spots there and three on the other side. But them ears is pretty much unmistakable. And we often asked, how do you identify the different leopards? Well, of course, many of the, our regular viewers recognize them on sight. And certainly you get to that stage if you see them often enough. But if you don't, well, then you've got to look for their spots. And of course, this leopardess has got a 4-3 spot pattern, but she's also got those tatty ears. He's just listening, perhaps, for a scrub hair or a steenbok or a diker to go wandering by unawares. And then she'll just gently sink down into the grass and make a meal of it. Ah, Waltheria, well, very nice. <laughs> the flower that never stops giving. You're looking a little bit tired, my dear. Are you tired? So, in case she stays there, I'm just going to move around the corner. Mm, no, I'm not. I'm going to wait here. Go ahead, Ralph. I am Ralph. She's in some thick stuff north of Central Road. Ah, now Tristan is feeling slightly religious this afternoon and he would like to share that with you now.